Stevenson, could you uh, come in here for a real quick second, please? So, and close the door behind you, too. Uh, don't worry, you're not in trouble. Just, just close the door behind you. Hold on one second, please. Steve, I got I got one one thing real quick to ask you. You like your job here? I run a good company here, Steve. And if my employees aren't happy, I can tell. I can tell real quick. Uh, listen, I'm a real easy guy to get along with. Okay. Most 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 people like me, all right. I'm a good boss. See, I'm all about fun, but I'm also all about work. Okay. But, uh, the thing is, you're not doing enough, Steve. I feel like, I feel like you could be doing more than, more for the company. You know what I'm saying? Do, you, do we understand each other here? Like, you, Johnson over in, uh, accounting gives 110%. After he clocks out, he goes right home, and he takes care of extra stuff. He does extra stuff on his own time. Of his of his own initiative. I don't have to tell him anything. But I know that, like you do when you come here, you do a good job. You really do. You you come in here, you do your job, and you clock out like everybody else. That's good. But that's not great. There's a difference between good and great. There's a difference between good and great employees. And I feel like you could be a great employee if you just took the extra the extra mile. You, know. you uh have a family, Stevenson? I do. I got a. Uh, I got four kids, Stevenson. They're all honor roll students. Why don't you have a family? So what do you do with your spare time then? Um. Yeah, I wish I could do that. Still. So I mean, I never trade my family for anything. I love them too much. There's no way I could ever ever trade my family for anything. But uh. I sometimes I wish I had that kind of free time, you know, to just goof off. But if you're not doing anything with your free time, maybe maybe there's something you can do with your free time actually. Cuz Johnson over from accounting, he's he's like you. He doesn't have a wife or kids. I don't think he has any pets either. So, but he goes home and he puts in the extra effort. He, that's where the extra 10% and the 110% comes from, is he goes home with extra paperwork of his own initiative and just does extra work. And he comes in and it's all organized and neatly printed up, ready on my desk, first thing in the morning, and that's the kind of thing that keeps this company alive, okay? That's the kind of thing I want to see from you. You know, I want you to, I want you to go home and Think about work, even when you're not here. I want you to be thinking that far ahead. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, today, I want you to try something new, okay? I want you to go home tonight, and I want you to make a, make a list of all the things that you can do for this company. And what needs improving, you know, things that you notice other employees doing that aren't right. Like when they're fudging the numbers or something. I want to know... I want that, and uh, I want I want you to come back to me with that list tomorrow, and things that you can do to improve on your uh, on your behalf too. I want you to think about what you can, how you can make yourself a hundred and ten percent real core tech employee. Okay. Do you understand each other? All right, good. I'll see you uh, bright and early tomorrow. Uh, I want you to come in eight o'clock and then go over this list that you made, and then you can clock in at nine, and you can do you can see what we can see what we can do with that list of yours. See if we can't shoot right into it. Okay. All right. Thanks, Bob. See you later.